to the other big story, Hope Lost. The aftermath of an equipment malfunction at university hospitals becoming clearer. Thousands of dollars were paid to the hospital to keep embryos frozen to be used down the road. And as lawsuits start to pile up against UH, families are left figuring out what's next. Some patients choose to do it electively, but for many, it was their last hope at starting a family. News 5's Tracy Carlis spoke with a woman left completely heartbroken over all of this. Tiny clothes hanging in the closet, stuffed animals waiting to be loved, books in a basket ready to be read, a nursery complete except for a baby. Sometimes we keep the door closed because it's kind of painful to look in and see, you know, like an empty crib and wonder, you know, is there ever going to be a baby in here? For as long as Kate Plants can remember, she wanted to be a mom. In the fall of 2014, she married her husband, Jeremy, and they planned to start a family. The more you learn about, like, the world and what people go through, you want to you wanna, um, protect a child. You want to take care of them. You want to give them a nice bed and toys and all that other stuff. And so, yeah, I've always wanted to be a mom. My husband always wanted to be a dad. But just a year later, Kate was diagnosed with ovarian cancer. She went through fertility treatments with hopes of having her own biological child one day. I only had time for one round of, of treatments and um, it was a miracle. I got five uh, viable eggs that we turned into embryos. Then last year, Kate had her uterus removed because she was diagnosed with uterine cancer, but she still held out hope of having her own child through a surrogate someday. Then she got the news that crushed her hopes. Then they told me that my eggs were in one of the tanks that was compromised. Kate and her husband will never be able to have their own biological children because of what happened at UH. Like so many other couples, they are broken hearted. Attorney Tom Merriman is representing the couple. What I'm hearing from the women, the couples that I've interviewed over the last three days who've talked to UH, talked to their doctors, I have yet to talk to a woman who's been told that her embryos are viable. So I think it's pretty clear this is far more catastrophic than what the hospital has let on. For Kate and her husband, family is everything. Always has been, always will be. It breaks my heart, it breaks his heart that we can't carry our own child. Um, not to say that we can't grow our family through adoption or foster care, um, and we'll be just as blessed to do that, but the fact that our choice was taken from us biologically is devastating. Now, Merriman told me that he expects to file a lawsuit on behalf of Kate Plants as well as several other patients that have contacted him over the weekend. Live in Beachwood, Tracy Carlos, News 5.